Ever wondered what does the future of urban travel look like? We just have to take a look at Saudi Arabia's capital city, Riyadh, to find out. The world's biggest futuristic metro is currently opening and its proportions are unlike anything the world has ever seen. It also operates completely carbon-free. How big is it really and what does it look like? Hello and welcome back to our channel Future Planet. In this video, we present to you the gigantic metro project, Riyadh Metro. Before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos just like this one. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Currently one of the largest cities in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia's capital Riyadh is expected to surpass the 10 million person mark in the near future. Because of this, the city's metro system is launching just in time, with the potential to greatly improve mobility in this quickly growing metropolis. The idea of building a metro in Riyadh has been around for a long time, but it wasn't until 2012 that a tender for the development of the project was held, that things started moving in the right direction. The tender was given to a consortium of international corporations that comprised Beschel, Larson, and Samsung. After hundreds of serious construction and engineering enterprises from around the world put their names in for consideration. It is possible that it is the world's most modern metro system because it is the most recent and includes some very futuristic aspects. As a result of a large investment, significant technological developments, and a young population that is very mobile, the strategy is successful. Over US $22 billion is expected to be spent on this project, making it one of the world's greatest infrastructure projects. By the way, which mode of transportation do you guys prefer? Public transport or going out on your own? Let us know in the comments down below. Riyadh Metro's size is mind-boggling even if cost is taken into account. There are 4.9 million square meters of excavation and 387,000 tons of steel used in this undertaking. The Riyadh Metro is the longest in the entire world, surpassing Cairo's 85 kilometers of newly completed track, and becoming the longest metro system in the Middle East. Additional BRT lines are also linked into this system to ensure that the users may get to their destinations in the most efficient manner possible. All 85 stations have air conditioning and wireless internet, and several of them are also connected to bus terminals, resulting in the creation of commercial hubs. First of its kind in the world, it transports 1.16 million people a day and has the ability to handle 3.6 million. All the trains are electric and self-driving, making this a first in the world for this type of technology. All of the city's major universities, the downtown core, and public transportation hubs are all connected by this thoroughfare, including the King Khalid International Airport and the King Abdullah Financial District. For its functionality, this is the most critical aspect. In terms of airports, King Khalid International Airport is a major player in the Middle East. Solar-powered equipment will be used by the bulk of these stations to generate their own electricity, indicating the project has the potential to significantly reduce the amount of carbon emissions produced in Riyadh. More than half a million car trips are estimated to be avoided each day as a result of the new scheme, which would save the equivalent of almost 400,000 liters of petroleum. The ultimate goal of the project is to boost the city's public transportation usage from its current 2% share to over 20% by the time it is completed. The city's economy is expected to grow by 320 million US dollars a year as a result of this, as well as provide a wide range of employment opportunities for the surrounding towns. It is estimated that the Riyadh Metro project has created 43,000 jobs for the people of 30 various nationalities adding to the city's already vibrant multiculturalism. Ultimately, the goal of the project is to contribute to the long-term viability of the city, and all important parties have been consulted. With the construction of a metro system, Riyadh will finally have a comprehensive public transit network that will comprise subways, buses, and parking garages. The metro, which is now used by only 2% of the city's residents, is expected to see a 20% increase in ridership by 2021 as seen by the requirement that three independent consortiums work together on the project. An unusual level of collaboration and tremendous experience are necessary to successfully finish this enormity of a project. A wide range of domestic and international companies employ the previously mentioned 43,000 construction workers. 
Because mentioning them all would take up an entire issue, we'll keep this section to just a few highlights. Mohammed Abdullah al arid has donated a substantial number of heavy equipment throughout the construction phase. The Terex AC700 telescopic boom mobile crane is included in this contribution. When it came to verifying the safety of the multiple lifting operations, al arid performed internal rigging and lifting studies as did another local firm. These investigations were carried out as a result of the large number of lifting operations. Eastern Precast Concrete delivered the concrete, while Ulma Construction in cooperation with Atia, a Saudi Arabian Metro official partner, provided full formwork and scaffolding systems. Precast Concrete from Eastern Precast Concrete was also used in the construction of the building. In addition, the Arab Center for Engineering Studies provided insightful analysis on the complex engineering requirements of the construction industry. Further upstream companies like Siemens, Blakey Electric, and Larson and & Tubro were in charge of a wide range of tasks related to the massive technical component of the project. DHL, based in Germany, would transfer 47 Bombardier train sets from a production facility in Saghan to Sets International, which was responsible for traffic control. There'll be 85 stops in Riyadh Metro, five are crucial interchange stations that allow passengers to switch between metro lines and the bus network. Stations that are part of the Qasar al hokom Metro include Qasar al hokom Station, which connects the blue and orange lines, KAFD Station, which is located on the eastern side of KAFD west of King Fahad Road and Western Station, which is located in the al Swidi district and serves as the hub for the Orange Line as well as a dedicated bus line. Their overall appearance is somewhat refined. There is no human conductor on any of the trains, and all of the modern carriages have Wi-Fi. VIPs, singles, and families will all be able to travel in their own individual carriages. In order to provide seamless city transit, the Riyadh Metro and Riyadh bus networks will be integrated. The Riyadh bus network will have three layers, one for the main streets and one for the motorways, and one for the smaller streets. In these areas, there are specialized bus routes, neighborhood lines, and feeder lines. Level 1's dedicated bus lines have a combined length of 154 kilometers, with 108 stations dispersed along the way. Level 2's community lines will serve as a backbone connecting the various residential areas. Almost 904 kilometers are covered by 19 community lines. It takes 825 kilometers to travel the lines of Level 3. These buses will run across Riyadh's neighborhoods, taking passengers to and from the city's metro stations and other points of interest. When the city expands its base technologically, it evolves and brings in greater opportunities. With infrastructure development, it will increase the demand of people. Riyadh's metro project has a bigger impact on the improvement of the country. Riyadh transformation will have a huge impact on the Saudi Vision 2030. The plan for lesser reliance on the oil industry and greater public sector development including tourism, recreation, infrastructure, and the health sector. With that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Future Planet and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.